Dave, this is Dave, and this is the Average Dave's Entertainment Talk, uh, where we are going to be talking about movie and TV talk. We're going to do multiple type of lists, top 10 lists of our favorite Western space sci-fi shows. You name it, we're going to be doing it. We're going to do movie reviews, TV, re TV show reviews. Uh, we've been... We started this pretty much at work. We uh, sit there and come up, okay, next week we want to have your top, usually your top 20, top 25 uh, shows. And we just started doing this. We've been doing this for what? Years. <laughs> Years of just once or twice a week talking movies and entertainment. Lots of years. Um, there's just so much to talk about these days. We figured we'd come on here and try a TV show. And this is our first show, so bear with us as we iron out things and see how we're going to work things out over the upcoming shows. Um, again, my name is Dave, and this is Dave. That's why we're called the Average Dave's Entertainment Talk. Um, we're going to have a, uh, an email posted on the bottom of the screen that is you can send us questions. And the email is the Average Dave's Talk at yahoo.com. And that'll be posted on the, the channel for us. So if you have questions you want us to answer or have a top 10 list you'd like to see us do or anything like that, let us know. If you if you have a TV show or a movie that you like, ask us and we will give us opinions on it. And entertainment is subjective. TVs and movies are very subjective. I might like it. Dave over here probably won't. We have some varying big differences on certain movies, certain Certain IPs, we have huge differences certain on. Certain studios. <laughs> certain studios. Certain studios. <laughs> I mean, I'm a... Disney lover. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I like Disney for the most part. Dave has kind of fallen... Disney has fallen out of his graces. Disney has done everything <laughs> it could to make me want to hate them. So I have obliged them. <laughs> <laughs> so today, just to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing, we are going to be doing our top 10 most anticipated movies and TV shows in order. Of 2024. Of, we wanted to start off with yeah. something light. Yeah. Something that, you know, just sort of give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. And we thought... You know, 2024 is actually looking like it could be a pretty decent year for entertainment. Yeah, and looking into this list, I actually got a little excited. I mean, there's some stuff in here that I'm like, you know, it, there's some movies on here that actually could surprise. Yeah, th it, we did top 10. I have a couple. I actually have three honorable mentions. I'm not sure if you put any honorable mentions down. I, d I did one because yeah. you didn't say we were doing it. Or, <laughs> I did this at know, the last I, minute. <laughs> I could have done a few more. I could have actually Thanks. done probably a top 15 list, but we decide top 10. Because uh, yeah. most of our lists are like top I, 20, top 20. I probably could have. Yeah. So, but you know, we're, top we're, 1,000 movies of all time in, in order. order. <laughs> you know, that's, that's coming. <laughs> yeah. That will take us a year to complete, but we'll work on it sometime. We did do top 100 movies we did. of all time yeah. in order. That was hard. That was great. That was hard. I still have it. I do too. We could we could do that. We, that would we take could us... do. We will do it at some point. Yeah. As, you know, assuming we get more than three people that watch. <laughs> I mean, I'm open to doing anything, and we really do encourage people to go in there, drop us an email, and we will get back to you. Yeah. You know, questions, comments, concerns, suggestions. Yes, suggestions you is know, a big one. We don't just what? do movie lists. Like, sometimes we'll do movie recastings. We'll do, um, what was the one thing we did? We did, uh, what if, like, Lord of the Rings was made, was, like, made in 2020? Oh, right, who would play characters. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Yep, that was uh, fun. But, you know, we like I said, we do the top westerns, top sci-fi, top, top actors, the actors, actresses. Overrated, underrated. Yeah. So we, we do quite the list. And... We do it in more in the mornings, and do we just talk about it for the week? Yeah, we've been. Do this was your fault, by the way. What's that? This show, my fault. Yeah, yeah this show was your <laughs> fault, by the way. We were doing this uh, uh, these lists for years, <laughs> and then at the Christmas party, you come up to me and you're like, "Hey, do you want to do a radio show?" And I'm thinking, "Yeah, I do have a face for radio, so why not?" Because yeah. at least then, radio, you're, you, nobody sees you. That's right. Exactly. So. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, by the way, uh, there is no radio station, but we can do a TV show. Yeah. And I'm like, 
Well, I've already said, yeah, yeah so let's do it. And we're going to change up our background every so often. We're going to work on it over the next few shows to see what works, what doesn't. We're going to have different things in different movies, some different little statues, that sort of stuff. Yeah, this Just is to... a work in progress. Yep. Bear with us. Yep. Um, the next show we do, we're going to do a different format, see which one we like better, see yep. which one you guys like better. So, yeah. yeah. So with Again. that being said, why don't we get right into the top 10 most anticipated movies and TV show, shows of 2024. And this is... I did it as though these are things that I haven't seen yet, and it's all stuff that's been. Yeah, I haven't seen any of these yet. Which one of these has been really hard for me not to watch yet? Because uh, it I started wonder, two days. I ago. wonder which one that is. <laughs> so, so do you want to do your honorable mentions, and I'll do mine. Well, my honorable mention was um, the Beekeeper, which came out January twelfth, starring Jason Statham, and it, it, you know what, Jason Statham movies. You kind of know what you're getting. They are what they are. They are what they are, <laughs> and they're fun. So yeah, he doesn't change much. In the how many years he's been doing movies now? Like twenty years. Well, you know he he's done Snatch and then everything else. Yeah, Snatch is so, a great movie. Uh, yes, it is. So my honorable mentions, I have three of them. I'll just run them off real quick. It is Civil War, which comes out on April 26. I'm going to be interested in seeing which way they go with what side politics are the good guys and what side is the bad guys. Um, the Fall Guy, that's one of my honorable mentions with Ryan Gosling, which Ryan Gosling's come a long way since his days at uh, Remember the Titans. And my third one is, I know, I know Dave did not like this movie at all, is A Quiet Place Day One. I thought A Quiet Place when it came out in 2018. I think it was. It was like two years before. You're COVID, the one that loves it. I'm yeah. not going to rip into it now, I'm, but I will. <laughs> but I love the Future Quiet Place. Day and Quiet Place 2 was time. pretty good, but I love the Quiet Place. So this is a prequel to the Quiet Place. Quiet Place was a good idea that they absolutely ruined. <laughs> and that comes <laughs> out did. on June 28th. And the Fall Guy comes out on May 3rd. So we'll go from our, t our number 10 to number 1. I'll do my first two, then you can do your next two, then we'll just go down the list from there. Does Dave, that sound good? Dave? Whatever you want to do. Okay. So my number 10 uh, on the list this, for this is Invincible Season 2.5, which comes back out on March 14th, and that comes out on Prime. And that stars, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's not an animated show for kids. Certainly not. <laughs> Absolutely not. But it's a, it's, comes, it's a great comic book run, but... It's not for the younger kids. Nope. And that stars uh, Stephen Yon, uh, J.K. Rawlings, and Mark Hamill, right? Mark Hamill's one of the voice characters in there, I believe. Is he? I don't yeah, know. I think he's the that one, the, the, not the scientist, but like the head of this. Um, you know what? Mark Hamill was the guy who designed the suits. Yes. That's, yeah. yep. So that's my number 10. Number nine is a movie that I love the original, and I love anything to do with vampires werewolves that sort of horror genre and it's not nosferatu nosferatu that comes back on, nosferatu nosferatu yeah please <laughs> can't even get that word out today that comes out on december 28th and that's actually being released in the theater and that's uh stars uh bill skarsgård and willem dafoe is bill skarsgård in everything this year he seems to be and skarsgård if he plays this role like he did pennywise in it which I still haven't watched chapter two all the it's way through. It's going to be good. Uh, I was enjoying the first half that I saw. be nice to finish it. But, uh, all right, my number 10. Most anticipated release of 2024 is Boy Kills World, releasing April 26th, starring Bill Skarsgård. It was a movie I knew nothing about, and then I was just researching this list. I watched the trailer. It also has H. John Benjamin yeah. as, like, a narrator who... Yeah, he I love. He's Archer, right? Archer, Archer. Bob's Burgers. Yep. He also yep. had a, sh a short-lived show, H. John Benjamin Has a Van. See, I never saw that. Never saw it, but, I mean, if he was in it, I'm sure. Isn't it his character decent. in the show going to be uh, mute, uh, deaf and mute? Yeah, uh, yeah. deaf and mute. <laughs> and <laughs> H. John ben Benjamin is his inner voice. Yeah. It, it, you know what? It looks like a movie that just wants to be fun, and I appreciate that. Yep. Yeah. My number nine most anticipated release of 2024 is Dune Part 2, releasing March 1st. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow for us. Starring Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya. Um, for Dune Part 1, I thought it was pretty good. 
Oh, I'm, and uh, that is releasing on H. Wait, no, no that's, that's not the movies. That's at the movies. Yeah, that's right. The first one was yeah. on HBO. Yeah, that's why I didn't put it because in because that came out right during the whole. And then they COVID promised crap. if there was a part two, if it did yeah. good, that yeah. they would release in the theater. So I'm and sure I, at enjoyed, some point, I enjoyed the first Dune. I did enjoy it, but I only watched it the one time, yeah. and I, did, I I I didn't really feel compelled to go back and watch it again. Right. But then again, see, I'll probably watch it again. I'm going to rewatch two before I go this, and then I'll re and then I will watch well right i will rewatch one before i watch two and one thing just to interrupt one thing we will do when we get into reviewing movies and tv shows we'll give them a grade like a, a b c d e f grade <laughs> um but we won't do this for our an- anticipated stuff, oh, we're, when we get to our list we're gonna come up with a better thing than and, that yeah than yeah ABC we'll come up with a grading F. system and believe me we we have huge differences a lot of times so uh-huh. it's so if you want to go with your eight and seven there. Okay. So number eight, I went with The Fall Guy. May 3rd, starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. You know, I, I think I saw a commercial for this during like the Super Bowl or like <laughs> after the Super Bowl. There was a thing. This is the first year I didn't watch the Super Bowl. I had no interest in it. Didn't watch a single second of it. It was great. <laughs> but this movie to me really has the looks of a movie that I think at the end of the year we could say that was a lot better than we were thinking. Yeah. And Ryan Gosling, I mean, the dude is just, the dude is just fantastic. I'm hoping it kind of has the same feel as the 80s TV show, The Fall Guy, because I love that show. Yeah, apparently, especially on the TV show. So hopefully it has that same feel, uh, all about the stunt guy. Mm -hmm. uh, We'll see. Looking forward to it, though. So, that was my honorable mention, actually. Yeah, I know. I was listening. <laughs> I was here. Number seven, House of the Dragon season two. It's releasing sometime in June 2024 on HBO. Uh, when I was doing this list, it said the most recent thing was possibly between June 20th and June 30th. Um, House of the Dragon is a show that I have not started yet, but I've heard You're nothing missing. but good things. You're missing. Yeah, but you see, season one was great. Yeah, and I've heard nothing but good things. But the thing is, with House, House of Dragon, it's set in the same universe as, obviously, Game of Thrones, which right. the first four seasons of Game of Thrones was the best television that's ever been made. Yeah, the first four Five and six were, were excellent, and then seven, it started to fall off a cliff, and then eighth, it was just fell trash. off the cliff, landed on the ground. and They, ru- they, ruined, just, they ruined that TV series with season seven and eight. When the whole cast, during their... Well, on their uh, tours and their, you know, at all their red carpet events, um, when they don't seem excited about the project, yeah. you know, you kind of got that same thing with uh, Mark Hamill in episode eight. Mark Hamill is clearly not excited. No. And episode eight it shows is Star Wars. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I would hope that they know that. There's there's episode one through uh, six, which is great. Canon. Stuff. And then there's seven, eight, nine, which was bad. And we'll, we're actually going to probably have a dedicated we're, video one night of just Star Wars because he, we could go on for hours and hours about Star Wars. Well, you want to do a show where we review the sequel trilogy, right. and which would mean <laughs> I would have to finish watching it. And that doesn't excite me. <laughs> All right. All right, Dave, let's hear your uh, eight, so, seven, s- six, and five. Okay. Go ahead. You know, so just, number eight for me go. is Dune. Uh, part two, which is, again it comes out on March first at the theater with uh, again Dune Part One was pretty decent, but the reviews I'm hearing for this are off the charts, and these are coming from people that thought Dune One was okay to the people who thought Dune One was great, and they're saying this blows away Dune One Part Two. So looking forward to it. There's a lot of scenes in Dune One that I that I really enjoyed. And yep. then there was some that I really didn't get what was going on. I may have also been really tired when I watched it. Yeah. Yeah. I got to rewatch it. Yeah. I mean, it definitely needs a rewatch and it's, it's going to get it. So number seven for me is her, uh, horizon American saga, uh, which is Kevin Costner. And it's going to be coming out in the theaters. as a two parter June 28th and August. Do you know? I do. What the, oh, so you have it on your list? I do. So what's the other? August 16th. Okay. So it's a two-parter. The first trailer that I saw looks absolutely amazing. The, the, the filmography, everything about it looks 
So Outstanding. yeah, when did the first trailer come out? Like a day or two ago? Yeah, yeah, I watched it. <laughs> I was I was blown away by that first trailer. How they just were showing the landscape, everything about it was awesome. Uh, yeah, it looked like it was being made by somebody who, you know, knows what he's doing yeah. and has a real passion for this sort uh, of thing. I love westerns. Westerns are next to sci-fi. Westerns are probably my favorite movie TV genre. Western for me too is probably number two behind like fantasy. Yeah. So my number six is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which comes out on May 10th in the theater. And guess what? It's, who's it going to star? Gorillas, chimps, and orangutans. I thought that was pretty funny. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a huge Planet of the Apes fan from the original TV shows in the 70s and the movies in the 70s. The one... Tim Burton? Tim Star Burton. Mark? That, when did that come out? 14? Thir- uh, no, no, God. That no, was like, earlier than that. Oh, God. That was like... 2001 yeah that was that was yeah that was pretty bad look i thought it was good enough but then again it's the only planet of the apes thing i've ever watched i'm a huge planet of the apes fan so i'm looking forward to that um so that was eight seven six so i'm at five okay so number five for me is a movie that just looks like it's going to be fun and it's the uh, ministry of ungenerally warfare which comes out on april 19th at the theaters starting henry cavill uh, a lot of people know him as Man of Steel. And then Alan Richton, who, if you haven't seen the show Reacher on Prime, watch it. Definitely it, the first season. Yeah. See, I th- I thought season two was a step under season it one. Was but, a, it was a big step under but season one. Reacher is a great show. It looks like it's actually um, based on the true story of what is the, the British first special forces during World War II. Mm-hmm. But it looks like they're going to put some of that comedic tone to it. It's a Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah, it's a Guy Ritchie. Yeah. It's a Guy Ritchie movie. Yeah, so if you that's know who Guy Ritchie is, that's his going to be his style movies. Guy Ritchie movies are at worst, meh. Yeah. Yeah. That's their at worst. <laughs> yeah. He does, yeah, he really does And when have they're a at their movie. best, it's, yeah. it's, you know, Snatch and... You know, The Gentleman, Wrath of Man. Yeah. Wrath of Man was actually an underrated movie. It is severely underrated. <laughs> I've probably watched that movie like six times. Yeah. So. And it's one of those movies that I can always go ahead and watch again. All right. Off so, me, for my number six, I'm going Deadpool and Wolverine. It's coming out July 26th, starring Ryan Reynolds and a huge jacked man. <laughs> and, I mean... This is where you're going to learn how he feels about Marvel. I'm actually putting a Disney movie on this list, which is, which is huge. And the main reason I'm doing that is because it's Ryan Reynolds, and it's you know Hugh Jackman's coming back to play Wolverine. I'm hoping not for the last time, but maybe we'll see what this movie. You know, it looks like it's going to take the multiverse type of thing. So yeah, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. It's like I watched the first trailer and I thought, I mean. It didn't make me not want to watch it, but at the same time, I, I like. It's like um, what I told you. Like after we watched it, I'm like, I don't know who the bad guy is, and your theory was what? Well, what was know. your theory? Yeah, I don't remember what I said. Now you said your your theory was that the the bad guy was going to be the MCU itself. Oh yeah, no, I yeah, I, Which, I still believe. I, that. I mean, I don't know how how they would do that, but if if because they actually they, had the balls to do that, I would be impressed. They have the perfect opportunity right now to course correct last phase four. Huge, because well, Phase Four. I mean, was I don't think they're. I don't think they know what they're doing. With phase Five, because yeah. Kang the Conqueror got arrested, <laughs> and then he got fired. Yeah. So, well, they 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 just said the other day that they are actually not going to make the, uh, Phase Five anything to do with the Kang universe now. So, so because now See, you're introducing the Fantastic Four, so maybe they will go down to Doom. Well, which no, they're also introducing uh, X Men, right? Right. Which, I think you're gonna. They're gonna get introduced in Fantastic Four. I bet. Mm-hmm. I bet, or well, I or mean, they De- or, or in Deadpool Wolverine. Well, the prime is there. You could the prime opportunity to bring in the X Men there. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, I mean, you're bringing in one of them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, who knows what they're going to do? Um, but it's Ryan Reynolds, so I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. If you guys haven't seen any of the Deadpool movies, I don't know what you're doing. You got to watch them. Yeah, you have to watch them. <laughs> And Again, they're not kid movies. No, 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 not kid movies. And the sequel is almost as good as the first. I, it's pretty it, close. It's almost. I mean, <laughs> if somebody told me that, that they liked the sequel better than the first one, I'd say, yeah. I, I don't blame you. Yeah. Well, I, I'll like, give you Like, you know, that. they both had their minor nitpicks, yeah. but I mean. But overall, Ryan Reynolds was yeah. born to be yes. Deadpool. 
Yes. <laughs> I, I think he would do it for free. Yeah. yeah. All right. He's, he's a, almost a billionaire now, so he probably would. Yeah, the guy, the guy just does everything. <laughs> All right. So my number five is The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Coming out April 19th, Henry Cavill, Alan Richardson. We've already said what we, what we think about it. I mean, Guy Ritchie's one of the few directors these days that I just have faith in him. And yeah, one of the few. <laughs> I think he. I think he's going to just. He just wants to entertain you, and and he doesn't go the way of the Hollywood. Oh no. to. He put, he no. like you said he no, no. puts I on think what he does he his wants. own thing. Yeah, he doesn't care about too much. A lot of his Hollywood movies take place say. over there in Britain, and they're like yeah. you know like British gangster movies. Uh, they're what, fantastic. What was the the gentleman? Yeah. 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 It no, took, I mean, you know, Snatch. Yeah, it took up, me a couple or, uh, watches to actually. Two smoking barrels. It took me a couple watches actually to like the gentleman. Really? But the few time, the more times I watched it, the more times I liked it because I caught a lot of the little subtle things that made scenes, the next scene, better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. All right. So my number four is Invincible season two, part two, March fourteenth, releasing on Prime. I still haven't started season two. I am the so sort of person. Good. So that good. I don't watch a TV show until the entire ep- until every episode has been released, and I'm looking forward to it. I've already rewatched season one again to get ready for it, and then I realized that the entirety of season two wasn't already out. I, which I mean, I, these companies that put these delays hate in it. the middle hate of a season, yep. there is a special place in hell waiting. <laughs> I hate it. The, Why they do I, that? I don't. You know. You guys already like. Drip feed us these shows once a week, which, yeah. okay, I get why you do it. Fine. But then you're going to put a three, four, six month wait? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. See, I don't mind the one week, um, one episode yeah, a week. I mean, look, you there don't, are you like get to binge it, watch. I get why they like to do it because yeah. it does keep the engagement with the show going, yeah. which is what these people really care about right. because that generates dollars for them. Okay, yeah. fine. I get that. Do that. I can accept that. Don't put a damn pause. Right. <laughs> in but this a, season. But again, Invincible, not a kid show. Not a kid show. At all. Not in the least bit. Not a kid show. Mm-hmm. But a really, really good show. Yeah. So that was me. It is yeah. you. So my number four is Godzilla X Kong, which comes out on March 29th at the theaters. And it stars Godzilla and King Kong. I don't care about the human characters in most of the Godzilla and King Kong movies because they usually are not that good. It's about Godzilla and King Kong. I've been a huge King Kong and Godzilla fan since I was a kid. I used to have all the v- uh, video uh, VCR tapes. I used to have some of the DVDs. But, yeah, Godzilla, Kong, it's a must-see for me. If you're the sort of person that watches a Godzilla movie for the story, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You're watching it for the action. You're watching it to see. I just don't know. Yeah, monsters. like I don't know what to say following that. I mean, yeah. it's like Pacific Rim. Yeah, the story was there just to move it along to the next scene where giant robots are going to fight giant monsters. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't really about the human. It's connection. not about the movie. It's not about the. It's like not about the, the characters. The characters are the monsters. Yeah, and that's the most part of the most important part of the movies. Which I mean, I like those movies. I'm. I know I'm going to see it. Um. If I did a little bit more research, I probably would have gotten an honorable mention from me. Yeah. No, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. My number three is Deadpool Wolverine. Again, July 26th at the theater. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. Huge Jackman. Deadpool 1 and 2 are two of my favorite Marvel movies, even though one wasn't a Marvel. second one wasn't Marvel either. This is no. the first mm-hmm. one yeah. under the Marvel banner. And yeah, what the first, they were both Fox, right? Fox. So hopefully everybody says they're going to let it happen. They're going to be in the same vein as Deadpool 1 and 2. We will see because Disney, Well, who knows? Because they're a family entertainment company. They're, I don't know if no, they're, they're going to. Um, <laughs> but I, I, like you said before, Ryan Reynolds doesn't need the money. Yeah. But he does want to play Deadpool. Oh, yeah. And I think he told them and he let them know, look, under no uncertain terms. No. If I can't come in here and make the movie that I want to make, then I'm not going to make the movie. Yeah. That's why I have... That's what I'm hoping is like what happened. I haven't read anything like that. I haven't really looked into it too much. That's just... I, yeah, that's just how I think that it's happening. See, this is my concern about a couple other uh, upcoming projects that Marvel's going to do, Disney, is Daredevil and The Punisher. They're allowing them to come into the universe... 
but you they know they're the Punisher. In? Yeah, they, they talked. To, they're they're going to have Punisher. You are know, they gonna, are they going to have you know Barenthal playing them? Yeah, that's the rumor. Barenthal, Barenthal said he's going to play, but you know as well, I, they're not going to allow gonna what it, it's Netflix not going to do. It's not going to be good. So, in my humble opinion, the three seasons of Marvel Daredevil on Netflix and the two seasons of The Punisher that they did is the best superhero thing that's ever been done. Oh, it, it, so awesome. They were... They stepped to... The, they kept to... They the, were perfect. Yeah, they kept to what the characters yes. were. Yes. The Punisher is all about... Violence on, on his enemies. Barenthal played him perfect. Oh, he was perfect. He 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 was perfect. He was perfect. That yeah. scene in the second season when he's in the, you know, like you know when he's crying about losing his kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, Punisher. Something that Disney would never do. Yeah, Punisher, not a kids thing. No. <laughs> so my number two is The Boys. Um, comes out on June thirteenth on Prime starring Carl Urban and Anthony Starr. If you haven't seen The Boys, it is a take on comic, uh, I should say superheroes that have no bounds. It's no, based on a comic, right? Yeah. They have. They don't care about what people think. They don't care if they hurt people or help people. They're, they just know they have the powers and they can do what they want to do when they want to do it and how they want to do yeah, it. Yeah, it's basically, imagine if a giant mega corporation like Disney owned <laughs> the Avengers. Yeah. Like the actual Avengers. Yep. No, it's, again, not a kid show. No. Very, very brutal. And my number one uh, show that I have, it came out two days ago and I is uh, Shogun. And it came out on the 27th. It's on Hulu and FX. Which is FX owned by Hulu? Is Hulu owned by FX, or are they just in partner? Hulu is owned by Disney. Okay, so I don't know where FX. Comes yeah, it's on FX. So, and that. Um, I mean, Disney uh, might own FX too. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. Yeah, and that stars uh, Hiroyuki Sonata, who, if you have ever seen uh, The Last Samurai, he was one of the lead samurais in that, and he was also in Mortal Kombat, right? Uh, he was in the Nose Mortal Kombat, yeah. Yeah. He was Scorpion. He's a phenomenal actor. Phenomenal. And the concept of uh, Shogun comes from uh, a novel back in the 70s, and they actually did an original miniseries back in the 80s starring Richard Chamberlain, which was awesome. I am so looking forward to this. So when I get done with this and we go home, I am throwing this on the first two episodes. All right. Well, you know, I'm not. <laughs> I'll yeah, wait. Because you're one of those. But let me just put it. Uh, all right. You know, I'm just going to finish. All right. I'm just going to finish. And then I'm going to tell you. So uh, I ended on number four. Uh, I guess we got screwed. Whatever. So my number three is Horizon and American Saga, which, again, part one's released on August, excuse me, June 28th, part two on August 16th. Kevin Costner's doing it. Um, I mean,. Kevin Costner is just an all-time great when it comes to westerns. One of the great, one of the most underrated westerns of all time, Open Range. Oh yeah, it's, it's so good. And he was phenomenal. It's so good. <laughs> I, I mean, I liked his Wyatt Earp. It, it 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 wasn't nearly as good as Tombstone. Right. But I still liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the main thing that Tombstone had on that was Val Kilmer. Well, yeah. And then that the was the main thing. Yeah. I mean, the you know, the there was game. other things too. I think the overall supporting cast yeah. was better. Yeah, but <laughs> the main one was Val Kilmer. Yeah. Val Kilmer made that movie. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> I, I mean, so, yeah, I, I mean, can't wait. And the fact that we're getting both part one and part two this year In is... In the same year. It, 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 <laughs> that's great. That's something I don't think that I've ever... Like, I know, like, with The Matrix, they did Reloaded and then... Uh, what was the third one? Revelations. Revelation. Yeah, like they made them both, but then they released them like like exactly one year apart. Yeah. But not both in the same year. Right. So, like, I, I don't know if I'm going to go to the movie theaters to see any of this stuff, except that. Oh, I'm, there's a few on here. Uh, I'm that I'm, see. I can see myself squeezing my fat butt into a <laughs> movie theater seat for that. My number two. Is Shogun, February 27th on FX and Hulu. The only reason that it's number two 
and I told you this before, that just because it's something new. Oh, yeah. And I and I did tell you that there is a very good chance that at the end of the year, I do say Shogun was the best thing that got released this year. I mean, right now, it's the, right now it's got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and 97 on an audience score. I don't care about rot, Rotten Tomatoes. I don't care say. what Rotten Tomatoes has to say, but the audience score is nice. Yeah. I mean, 97 is pretty good. For two you know, episodes what so the far. people have to say. Yeah. And my number one is The Boys Season 4, June 13th on Amazon. Um, Amazon is, they are a mixed bag. Some shows that they do are phenomenal. Like, I have two shows on here from Amazon. I have The Boys and I have Invincible, and they're top four for me. But then they do other stuff like The Rings of Power (laughs) that I couldn't even finish this. The second episode, and I went in with as, with 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 as open mind as I could, and I've heard nothing but bad things. And I watched the first two episodes, or at least most of the second episode, and I just said, "This this is so much worse." I think I made it to the third. I think you told me you finished you finished the first two, and then you yeah, started the third. Yeah, and then you were just like, "No, nah. it, it ruined the whole." It's not talking. No, it's not. It's not talking. No, it's no. not. It's not. So. uh so with that, that was our top 10 most anticipated movies and TV shows of 2024. And if you guys have something that you want to see, you know, are going to go see, let us know. Uh, what do you think about our shows? Let us know. And what we're going to do in our closing is just going to talk about there is so much out there to watch. Between, There's too much out there to watch. Between the movies, your your you know your ABC, CBS, and the NBC's, Foxes, and then all your streaming services. There's just way too much to watch. And we both work a job where yeah. we can watch quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, and <laughs> it just uh, there's just so much to do now to keep keep up on what shows we like. Yeah, because there's I mean there's still shows I'm catching up from last year. Mm-hmm. And shows I want to watch that I haven't watched. So, and then you, every day it seems like they're dumping more and more and more stuff out. And I'm like, ah, I want to see that. I want to see that. But before you know it, you're two, three years out from when it came out because there's just so much on TV. Oh, I had a guy at work give me access to his Hulu account. So at work, I'm watching like some anime that he yeah. got me hooked on. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm a nerd. That's one thing I was never a big fan of. I'm, I shouldn't say I'm not a fan. I just never got interested in anime. Well, I got... So I was in... I want to say... Gee, I think I was in ninth or 10th grade when Dragon Ball Z came over here. And that's sort of like how I got involved. It was Dragon Ball Z on, um, on a Cartoon Network. So when it first released over here in the States, I was, you know... 15, 16. Yeah. And, you know, it was geared towards, like, kids my age. Right. And it was, it just hooked me. Like, I haven't watched a whole ton of anime, but the guy at work has watched a lot more than me, and he's, like, su- and he's like suggesting stuff. And, like, one nice thing about anime is that it comes from Japan, and, well, they don't give a crap about Western woke politics, yeah. which is nice. The one show I did start watching, though, was it The Blue Samurai? Uh, the no. one on Netflix? Yeah. Blue-Eyed Samurai? Yeah. That's actually not bad. That, I can't wait for season two. Yeah. I, I haven't finished season one yet, but what I've seen of it so far, I enjoy that. That was actually a girl boss that I liked. Yeah, and that's a anime. It's like a it's like yeah. a like a C, it's like a cell shade slash yeah. CGI combination. Yeah. And like, I, I actually it's enjoy really, it. It's really, really good. I actually enjoy it. It's a really, really good art style that they have. Um really good sense of humor. The yeah. like good characters. Uh the lead character, she's like, you know, she's like a skilled swordsman, but she, like when she gets, you know, up against somebody that can match her, like they will beat her up sometimes, she, which. But she's a, she's a badass. Yeah, she is a badass. <laughs> but she will lose fights too. Oh, yeah. Which, yeah. I, which, which everybody I, will. I appreciate. Yeah. Um, that's one thing you, you might know. That, you have to have struggle in your shows. Yeah. You have to have struggle in your shows. Yeah. Not every t- Not every show is perfect. Oh, God, no. I mean, I could, there could be a perfect TV show out there you like. I might be like, eh. Well, this year, the only this perfect year. TV I think I've ever seen was the first four seasons of Game of Thrones. First four seasons of Game of first Thrones. First four seasons of Game of Thrones was perfect. That was phenomenal. It TV. was perfect. Yeah. It was the best TV and that's ever been made. Then they killed uh, it. Unfortunately, you know, what, what were their names? Dave and Dave? 
Yeah. Or no, no, no. It was Benioff and Weiss, right? Yeah. They were in a rush. Yeah. To get out of HBO and go make their uh, their like Star Wars, which movies. never happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They signed this big contract with Star Wars. Yeah. And HBO pretty much gave them a blank check. They gave them a blank check, and they Here wanted them go. to make as many seasons <laughs> as they could. Yeah. And they they blew it. Um, one thing we, you might not, uh, people might not agree with the way we might talk about some of the studios on some of their political views, but s- politics have ruined some studios and some. They have some studios and some really great franchises. They've ruined some companies. Yeah, ruined companies, and they've ruined some great franchises out there. Ghostbusters. Well, that's a whole <laughs> the Ghostbusters thing's a whole subject for another day. Yep. Um, you know how I feel about Afterlife. Yeah. That's when's that come out? Uh, the next one's like what's it called? Frozen. Yeah, that Frozen comes out. Kingdom. It's coming out this month? year. Next month or April? I think. Uh, yeah, I'll watch it yeah. at some point. I'm not <laughs> expecting much. You got anything to say in the closing? Do I? It's pretty quiet, so I take it that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no. I mean, you know, bear with us. This is our first show. Yep. Um, we're still learning the ropes. We're still figuring out how we're even going to film the darn thing. Yeah. So, but I mean, like we've been doing this for years. We have so many lists done, and we really do encourage you guys to just drop us like an email. I'll check it every night when I'm at work. Yep. I will That's get back to you guys. Yep. I mean, we'll we'll reach out to you as quick as we can. We definitely want engagement. We want suggestions. One, okay. One we both know it, we need to lose weight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll work on that. Yeah. Um, one thing you'll notice is these two characters, <laughs> Batman and, and Joker, so far so good. They have not really ruined those characters yet. Well, Even, they haven't made Batman gay yet. Like, yeah. you know, they're trying with Superman. Yeah. So they haven't mess with the character format too much but so like that's I why was, i put them out here first like you i know? was uh, you know discussing with you before the show was this new batman like it's like an aztec one or something yeah i gotta i gotta look that Jesus. i gotta look that up again because i know what you're talking about but it's i don't yeah. even remember what it's called but so, it's yeah well it we, looks weird yeah but so, apparently that's gonna be on hbo at some point so hbo actually you know dc animated has been really good yeah, for the most part. DC animated. DC movies haven't been the greatest, but DC animated have been pretty good. There's a subject we can go into another day as well. For yeah, hours. because <laughs> Marvel is begging to get taken over by DC, or I, passed by DC think, in terms of viewership. Guns, and, I think with James Gunn taking over, they might lose out to DC. If he writes the ship at DC, he, they, could, they could take over Marvel and the popularity. I hope, because Batman I, is... I hope they do. I've always been a DC guy over more. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean, we can just ramble on yep. for a while. We tend to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. So you're good. Hey, we appreciate you watching. Yeah. For um, you that did. Again, let us know what you think. <laughs> Comments, concerns, stuff to talk about. Let us know. And like you said, we'll be checking the emails and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. You have any idea what you might want to do next week? What kind of list? I don't, Dave? I, you know what? Why don't we do our top... Come on. Our sci-fi franchises. Or sci-fi movies. Because uh, everybody... No, like, Dave, I think that's a little bit... I think it's a little bit too much too fast for these people. Okay. <laughs> so what Maybe, do you want I to don't do? know. I, I don't know if I have that in me. Maybe... <laughs> You know what? We're kind of ending on t- uh, talking about DC. How Remember? like some studios have just gone absolutely like, bonkers, bonkers, and just you know uh, lost their good. way. But there have been some hidden gems that have come out. Let's say in the past, since like since like 2016, when okay. uh, uh, a certain thing happened, when it, a certain political figure maybe took office, oh, and George. the world started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't say, we're, yeah, I, I guess we're already demonetized. <laughs> anyway. I can't say Trump. <laughs> can't, <sighs> hey, whatever. <laughs> but, so because what, there's so much crap coming out, it does make you appreciate the good stuff. So how about we do top 10 movies that have been released <coughs> since 2016? Okay. 
So that'll be our next list. Our that'll top be our 10 next top 10 since list. Since 2016. Since 2016, when the world just started to lose its crap. <laughs> All right. So our next list will be our top 10 movies since 2016. All right. So anything else? No, Dave. I think uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad. You know, glad you showed up. I do want to thank you. you. I do want to thank you for bringing in the uh, our flair. Yeah. And we're going to have different flair every week. Uh-huh. More flair. So, so um, we're good then. Hey, I'm good. Like I said, thank you guys. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you on the next show. We're going to have probably a different setup, like we said, just to see which ones we like the best. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time, and we'll be doing our top ten movies since 2016, plus some other little comments and you know what might be stuff that's coming up in the entertainment world or TV world. We'll discuss that. Can I do some honorable mentions next week? Yeah, we'll do honorable mentions. Thank we'll do you. top ten, and you can, we'll do two honorable mentions. Oh, okay, cool. So Thank technically you. it's a top 12, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Um, so with that being said, um, thank you for tuning in to the first uh, The Average Dave's Entertainment Talk. And we will see you next time. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you.